This is my son, Caleb Taylor, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about stone root. Well, as you can see, we found a nice, pretty mature bunch of stone root, and um, it's a real healthy bunch. Stone root is mostly a water seeping plant. It likes to grow near very, very moist areas of real soft dirt. So if you're looking for stone root, that'd definitely be a place to check. The stems right here in the main stem, now it can either be green or purple. That doesn't make a difference. But now at the bottom on, some, on all plants, to identify if it's stone root, it will be this shade of dark purple That's on correct. the bottom. But Sometimes from there up, it'll be green. Exactly. But it can be purple. Yeah. But what about up here that, at the forks? That's always got to be purple where the leaves are The forks are will always off. be purple. Yep, That's always. Correct. And as you notice something, right here, there's a bud for the reproduction of the berries of the right Now, oak. I'm going to show you how to dig it. Now, usually you don't have to do this, but usually what I like to do is break the top off. That's usually what I do on every root. Now, this ain't as tedious as Jen saying. It's kind of like yams, black, blue cohosh. You know, you don't you gotta be so careful with this. Fill the bag as fast as you can in a quick amount of time. There you go. All right. Just dig. And a good thing about stone root is it's not that deep in the ground. But when you get it, beat that, it on a rock. Yep. Always gets all that dirt out of there. As much as you can get, anyways. Guys. Why well, Caleb's beating that out? Let me tell you something. If you don't beat them roots off and break them apart best you can when you're in the mountains, you're if you've got a 50 pound bag full, you're carrying out 10 pound of dirt and rock. Yeah. You get rid of all that stuff and fill your bag up, you've got another 8, 10 pound of root instead of dirt and rock. That's something real key. Uh, you know, we love to dig, and uh, we're big, well known ginseng hunters, but now let me tell you something. It's fun to dig all this stuff, and when I've got orders for it, I like to dig it all. And uh, it gives you something to do when you can't dig ginseng. So, uh, get in there and make you some money, and we're trying to show you how to do it the right way. All right. There's Looks where good, the buddy. stone root will look. Now, it's some, hard. Yep. Now, some people will ask, why do they call it stone root? Sounds like a metal piece beating on a rock, and when you get a sack full of this it's together, you, you better be strong because uh, <laughs> you're going to have a time getting this. It's a heavy root, definitely. Yep. All right, buddy. Good job, Caleb. Definitely. God bless. You too, buddy.